Hey guys, Spirit Wolf here, and welcome back to part two of the Lucky Doors. Um, we're kind of back <clears> to where we <throat> was the last time. I got more perks. Similar place. Though. Yeah, so we for... worked out how to open the last door, like um, legitimately open it. Um, oh, you have right, to shoot okay. the fruit. Yeah, so we, worked that, we worked that one out, and but other than that, we've gotten to the exact same point. We've done nothing else. We've just opened the similar amount of doors I've opened in this room before. So I've got, I've got the stoner, which is there, stoner 63, and we can continue. So hopefully we'll beat this one today. Um, so one thing um, I'd like to clarify is the Ragnaroks are a buildable piece for those of you that don't know they're not wall buyers in this map what's mad gas moonshot <coughs> what does that do i don't know it doesn't say buy it buy it and find out cool that's how we live in a live oh if you oh well, uh, i think if you slide um if you slide it sort of blows everything up around you excellent Anyway, so I got the swap um, from Black Ops 2 multiplayer, and I think it's in the campaign as well, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it's burst fire, so I'm going to get the M27, I think. Which I want to say is a um, DLC gun on Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Otherwise, it's the Peacekeeper that's a, a DLC gun. No, the Peacekeeper is definitely DLC. Ah, it's um, DLC. It's, P it's the Peacekeeper then. I thought it would be one of them. Yeah, because I, I remember getting, I think it's a Black Ops 2, the Peacekeeper. Yeah, it is. But I know the M27 is also in Black Ops 2 as well. It's in Black Ops 2 Zombies Nuketown, the M27. Oh, without looking at it, I wouldn't be able to recognise it. What, the M27? Yeah. What is it? A LMG? A sniper, it's an, ass or... it's an assault rifle. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this SWAT now, I think. Doesn't come with a laser sight, though. I always, I always have the laser sight on the M27, though. Oh, it's, uh, it's not that good, actually. Right, so there is a viable ending on this map. Somewhere. Haven't found it yet. So I've opened that door there. Oh, actual widow's wine is down here. Why are you not dying? Sorry, I'll just knife this guy to death. No, I will not. There we are. I'll get my widow's wine. I'll get my widow's wine one way or another. Yeah, the, the M27 is not that brilliant in this game, in this uh, map anyway. It's not too bad on Nuke Town though. I don't know what they are. Oh, they're just other map. What is this? Oh, the commandos are all by there. Yeah, I think I saw that last time we played through this map. That's a pretty interesting wall by. I've not seen the Galil yet. It's probably the only gun I've sort of wanted to see that I've not seen. Then there's the bandit bandolier, which is 3k in this map. Bloody hell. Um, do I have an LMG? Because if not, I might get an LMG. Nah. Yeah. HK21 is not too bad. And then there's these statues from Shadows of Evil, which we have the mod that makes all the. Um, Easter eggs um, doable without four people. So if you guys want to see those, then just drop comments down below. Don't forget to pick up your Ragnaroks there, dude. Anyway, so we've got a lot of custom perks. We've got 21. I've never seen the Moonstone one before, though. But every other perk here seems to be ones that we've seen before. I've got Victorious Tortoise on at the moment, which is 
absolutely pointless because I have no shield, which I probably should go and get one. And that's that. Cool. Oh, that's even better, actually. Are you there? Oh, you've muted yourself. Uh, okay. He's muted himself. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, I didn't hear him say that. So, my apologies on that one. Uh, probably just get this one then. It's the only one I need to get. You know, from this room anyway. Yeah, Scar's pretty decent. <coughs> and yeah, now to find that um, ending. I'm not sure where that is. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really much else to say about this map, and yeah, we found out the fruit actually opens all the door, all the the last door anyway for this room. Uh, that oh, that helped. Um. Other than that, I mean, I haven't found Banana Colada yet. I haven't got Deadshot yet, and that's in the first room. I don't know why I concern myself with that, but there you go. Can't believe I've ignored that. <coughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's that so satisfying, just mowing down a, a line of zombies. Anyway, another good thing um, that I'd like to say as well is um, I, fi I have finally invested in, Bla in Borderlands 3. And I am very tempted to do a blind, a blind run of that. I know about the Borderlands. Ew. I don't give a... I don't care. Dying wish. Is that what you got? Did you buy it? <laughs> oh, rip, man. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, he hasn't bought it then. Okay, thank God for that. Just run away from that as fast as you can. Now, Dying Wish isn't a bad perk. Um, but after it's, after it's done giving you invincibility, it leaves you on one health for after the effects so you can actually just get down just like that after after the effect that's why I tend not to buy it Fire fail. decent I go all the way back to the uh, <laughs> blue room for that how many perks have I got now I'm missing quick revive I know that dying way of on that one oh, another thing there. Another good thing about the rounds getting higher though is that it, it will take more shots to kill the zombies. Um, so all the tens and that will add up. Especially in a HK magazine. Which the map creator seems to have made. Seems, seems to have made the HK a lot more powerful, but I think they had to for this the express purpose of this room. <sighs> so I, I do suppose the bad thing is, oh nice, I found the um, Bible ending. 77,777 Bloody hell, okay. So we need to save up to that. So I've got 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. It's missing 3 perks, which is Dying Wish, Banana Palada and Quick Revive. I might as well go and buy Quick Revive now, I mean, what the hell. I know Big Tunes had Banana Colada earlier, but he lost it. 
Oh, that's it there. Okay, never mind. I found it. Oh, that's even better. I will. I think it does tell you what um, dying like dying wish does, so I will get it just for that. I almost died trying to trying to get quick revive. Oh, so you don't know. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't what? Don't get dying wish. But why? How much is this? Seven 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 seven. But yeah, I, I know, money. right? I'll open another door. Yeah, don't. Oh, but you don't, don't get it, um. Whoa! Dying wish, Christ! Oh, what's okay. in here? Three wonder weapons. Thunder gun. The ray gun mark what's that, three. G the oh, okay, that's the my wonder wolf DG two fifteen k and the uh, fun gun fifteen nah. k. I'll miss um, out. I'll, I just want to get the. Uh, the I'll say the, the only problem. I'll say the only problems I'll have with that is, is they're really they're really terrible for points. They're awful for points. Survival, yeah, but not... Not points. Not points, no. Which we have, uh... I have now amassed 20 perks now. What perk are you missing? Dying Wish. <laughs> oh, okay. Might as well do it. The game's dying for 9 first. seconds, leaving you on one health with a 5 minute cooldown. Drawing invincibility, melee hits, kill, instant kill, basic zombies. But the thing is, I'm not sure what triggers the call. I'm not sure what triggers the instant, like the invincibility effect. I'm gonna see how long this uh, circle takes to charge fully. Have you got? Oh, you have as well, haven't you? I want to see if it makes a noticeable difference. It goes down when zombies hit you. So I always see the longer it charges, the more the more sh health your shield has. And this is a perk in Black Ops 4 as well, so this must be like the Juggernaut, but worse. Well, oh, it's awful Juggernaut. <laughs> it's awful Juggernaut. I'm just gonna go out there and say it's bad, Juggernaut. If that's the case, I'll say I'm sorry. If, if that's anyone their makes idea, that comparison, they're wrong. If that's their idea of, you know what? I can barely see any of my bars um, after it's like um, four fifths of the way there. As I was gonna say, we're still ages away from this uh, benchmark here. You know what, I'm gonna do it. Did you do it? Yeah, I've done it. If you go down, I'm, I, can't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna if, do. If we, if I go down, I'm screwed. You are screwed. <laughs> I've gone from 21. 21 to perks to zero. <laughs> yeah, I've gone from a hero to zero. So the opposite of Hercules, isn't it? That song in Hercules. <laughs> the thing is, I think that's why we keep failing Thanatos so much. Well, oh, because of Dying Wish, yeah. Because we, you get all the perks after killing, um, or not killing, but after doing all of the rituals or something, don't you? Yeah, sort of. It's a, it's in it's a really good map actually, Thanatos. Thanatos is a really decent map, but we, ha we haven't done um, Thanatos either. We should do that. We haven't finished it. Is what um, I say. We can't finish it ourselves. <laughs> if we had four uh, people, you know what to... we could do? We'll get we'll get a clip on YouTube. I'm sure we'll be in the map, and then we'll just come and say over it. <laughs> oh, it goes from like goes from all my subscribers to fifteen. Yeah, see, look, I've activated. Look, see, look, my dying wish activated on its own, and it's now left me on one health. But what activated that though? That's what I don't Very get. Very interesting it. question. It takes five minutes to call down anyway, so I'm not too sad about it. I 
Oh my god. Getting what? swarmed here, boys. Oh no. Oh god, gotta play hero. I'm such a dolt. I swear. I did this earlier in the game as well. Did you actually? Oh, you got no perks, have you? No. Oh, no way. Uh, I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, I know everything's what I'm gonna do. just purple and stuff now. Oh, 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 oh. My god. What? Uh, just zooming in and out of zombies is all. Zooming in and out of zombies? What are you doing? Giving them a model makeover or something? No, I'm trying to get uh, more perks back. Well, are, you, are you serious? I've got no ammo for any of my guns, so I'm going to have you have you help me here. Um, sure. That's not very enthusiastic, sure. Sure, why not? Sure. Of course, of course I can help you. What do you need me to help you with? Um, don't let them <laughs> kill me, because I'm too young to die. Well, I mean, we, I think you've you've lived a good few years. How old do you think I am? I think you're you're ready to go. Well, I mean, you're you're older than most. You're eighteen. You're a man now. Well, I'm not eighteen though. <laughs> you're over the age of eighteen. I'm over it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly eighteen. You've you've passed the hump. You know, you're middle aged now, basically. Jeez, I'm not. That old. <laughs> I'm not that old. I don't know what the life expectancy of the, of the and a male is. But your your prognosis is not good. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my isn't. goodness! Oh my mine, damn! What do you mean mine isn't is is uh? What do you mean my life expectancy isn't like good though? Like, what are you talking about? Your life expectancy. That's what you said, isn't it? My, my, my prognosis know. isn't good. Is that, that's what you just said. Yeah, your prognosis isn't good. How so? Why is it not good? Because you're dumb. You're going to do something dumb and die from something dumb. I'm not Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> well, no, I think, you know, he went about it the right way. I mean, he was yeah, like, he pretty in shape. He, he filmed... He filmed... Oh, come on now. It's not a low blow. Like, have you seen? Did you see the guy? Like, he's he's he was pretty like in shape. Yeah, he, but... he could take a beating. He could take a beating, yeah, but he can probably take less beatings than I could probably. I can absorb some of it. <laughs> so, absorb the blow. <laughs> absorb the blow. <laughs> the tank. <laughs> yeah, the tank. To be fair, I, to be fair, I could probably tank mo most. Uh, uh, what do you what you call it? I could tank like most things. Tank right? most of the blows, yeah. Where the hell is that perk? Here I found is. I found the Galil, by the way. The Galil, where is it? It's like in the one door we just didn't open. It's next to. Oh nice. It's basically near that Moonstone perk. Is it okay? Well, not next to it, but it's next to a um, generator thing that you buy to open the Bible ending. Oh, quality. So we've opened all the 80 doors in of this map. How many doors? 80. Plus the four... Eight, no, there's, not, there's definitely not 80 doors in this map. No, I meant, yeah, well, no, actual doors. 80 doors. There's 80 doors, there's 20 in each zone, plus the four that opens the zone, plus the other four that um, activates the um, doors to open. Oh no, there's that's just no the way start, isn't it? Huh? That's just the start, actually. Um, so you got the do you got the button that opens the first zone, then you got um, 20 doors in that one. Um, oh yeah, I guess that yeah, I guess you're right. If there's twenty doors in each each room, there's eighty doors in the map. Oh wow. Yeah. Why? Well, how many doors do you think there was? I thought it was like thirty or forty. And they point out, yes, there are actually forty doors. Uh, th twenty doors in each room. 
Yeah, there's 20 <laughs> doors in each room. Um, in the blue zone there, there's um, three buttons, and they count as doors, so there's um, three there. Then you've got three more of them, and three pack-a-punch doors in the green room. So that's another three doors. That's insane. Um, so that's 86. The two doors, um, the, um, the two viable doors to get into the last two zones, so that's 88. Um, plus another six in the purple zone, that's 94. So there's 94 doors in, by, um, door, um, door buyers in the entire map. He was actually really close to, uh, 100. It is. I'd like, I'd. I'd like to see a map. Oh no! A... Oh dear my lord. My Christ. Just bloody got my job back as well. I say you're not having a good time. I'm not. I tell you, you're going to be buying the ending. I can tell. Yeah, yeah, because you're just you're just carrying on. So yeah, so I have all 21 perks, and they all co cover the bottom of my screen. Like there's just nothing of it. Twenty. Twenty-one. Oh, I was at least twenty. I say moonstone. I say the bloody. Mad Gaz Moonshine. I've not seen that perk anywhere. What is it? I've heard of that one. Mad Gaz, I think, is a map creator. It you basically slide, and oh, okay. when you it would finish, be really good if you could have kept that. When you be. finish, when you finish sliding, it you you basically explode around you. So it's like PhD slider, but a lot better. Excellent. And obviously, you don't get the um, immune to explosive damage at all. Dude, it's like 229 zombies, that's crazy. That is. Completely mental. You know what we should do on World at War? It, not What's Dead that? Ship, but the other one. The other one, that, other one. The other one on World at War that works like Dead Ship, but isn't Dead Ship, but the other one, the castle or something like that. Um, have to be a bit more specific. T TGM Castle, I think it's called. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should do that one. Yeah, that map looks pretty fun. Well, we've not done it in a while, and um, we've not really gotten anywhere with it other than the fact that we've opened all doors and stuff. We've not opened all the doors, actually. Infinite ammo. Works. It's not the one with the melee challenges, is it? That's no, that's Black Ops 3, isn't it? Oh, that is. You're right. Yeah. Oh Christ! Don't die. I almost did. I almost did. I'm Please so don't. glad I got this stoner. Yeah, the stoner kind of ends all your problems, really, isn't it? Well, it's, yeah, pack punch stoner called the Bone Eighty Nine. Decent. It's really hard now to uh, sort of commentate on the map, so I'm going to commentate on other things. Um, like Borderlands 3, for example. Um, I don't know what my um, upload schedule will be. With that. I think it will just be more of a uh, when I record it and get around to uploading it. Um, then I'll probably upload it. Because my upload speed isn't that brilliant, to be honest. <coughs> Takes a few fair few days just to upload a, a single video at this point. But 
you know what? I don't mind. As long as it as long as it continues to upload instead of not uploads at all, I'm I'm happy with it. So you're always yawning. I'm always yawning, you're right. Oh well. Oh, yeah, you got work tomorrow, haven't you? So you can't stay up too late. I'll work nights. You work nights, I forgot, so you can stay up. Wouldn't it be more beneficial for you to stay up later than tonight? Probably. Because yeah. then you can sleep all during the day tomorrow. Uh, that's sort of the plan, yeah. Yeah, that's what I used to do when I worked nights. I mean, I worked, I think the last night shift I worked was um, two two weeks ago now, almost. Um... I pretty much slept all night, um, all all day, sorry, and awake all night. Unfortunately, it's gotten me. Was that for night shifts? Yeah, unfortunately, it's gotten me in this ridiculous pattern now, where um, I'm waking up at like four in the afternoon and sleeping, not sleeping till like three, four in the morning. Yeah, you can fix that though. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and like if I don't. Like, if I don't sleep by, like, um, two or three tonight, then I might just stay up and try and go to bed or earlier. throughout the whole day. Yeah, and then try and go to bed earlier. Because then by that point, I'll be really tired. And then I'll hopefully... That's one, that's one way to do it, yeah. Uh, something else you could do is, um, you can try and go to sleep as, you know, as early as you like, but, um... You could basically set an alarm, so you say, right, no matter how long I sleep, I'm waking up at this time, and I'm going to get up, and I'm going to stay awake until this time. Yeah, I could you do know, that. At I least, at least try and challenge yourself to stay awake uh, until that point, so that you know that okay, I can sleep at this time. Um, so if I let's say that uh, sounds a lot you, better actually. To be fair, obviously, I was really, yeah. uh, I didn't really think too much about the whole alarm thing. I just sort of was more like, right, if I just do this and this, and I'm more likely to f go to sleep because I'll be more tired. Ooh, Christ. But no, that's all um, it does work, because then I'm getting s a little amount of sleep, which will be better than none at all, actually. Yeah, because even if you're only getting, like, two hours, it's going to, like, jump start your system, and you'll be like, right, okay, I've had, like, two hours, three hours, four hours, how however long. It's like now it's like mid midday, so now I need to get up and I need to be awake for eight hours. That's that's my sort of goal. Now is to be awake for the next eight hours, so that I can go to bed at eight, go to sleep, wake up at like seven or whenever. Well, I mean, I, I gotta get up. The earliest I gotta get up um, to get ready for work is, um, I'd say about quarter past twenty past six. Yeah. I bet you don't always make that though. I don't always make that, but I I'm don't I know I'm never late to work, so I mean the latest I can get up theoretically is um twenty five to twenty two just to get ready for work. Yeah. But I'd have to rush around I'd have to sort of know exactly where everything is. So I can get ready in like two minutes, get dressed and stuff and then head out. Which is really dirty, actually, because um, it means I don't shower or anything like that. I brush my teeth and that. Obviously, I do that. Like, you go. But it's like I don't shower or anything, which uh, some people might consider disgusting. But the job that I work in, you'll get stuff, you'll get spat out and stuff for you anyway. So it's like, as, as soon as it's you get. It's best go to keep your hygiene as high, high as standard as you can, though. Yeah, you got to really with a, um, in the job that I'm in as well, which is the only reason why I do it. Because imagine all the in, all the infections that could be passed around. Like as and considering we've uh, we're in the middle of a crisis as well at the moment. Um, the worst thing we can do is like not have good hygiene. It's also good for your mental health as well. Being clean, feeling clean is very very important. Oh, of course. I was a max ammo. You know, sometimes I feel just like a hundred times better when I, once I've had a shower, I'm just like, oh yes, I'm clean now. Oh, everyone I does. feel good. Oh, max ammo. Max 
There's no PhD on this map though. No. It, that that perk's a bit hit or miss, really, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose it's um, the way. I suppose whether you know how to um, implement it or not. Like some map makers do, some map makers don't. But <coughs> I think I suppose it does take a lot of coding or programming or whatever. I don't really know the, the process of making a map, but you know they've they've got to fundamentally change how the map the the perk works because you can't dolphin dive. So no, you actually need like to program you got to, um, you got, I say, you got to program in jumping from a height and sliding at the same time. That causes the explosion only when you have PhD on. Mind you, there is a perk that's very similar to that. I can't think what? of the name though. What, in the actual game? No, uh, in this modded map. So it's not within the... outside of the realm of possibility, I suppose. It's not Moonstone, is it? Uh, I don't really know what it does. Because we, oh, there's... you're... Um, you're done. You're ready to buy the thingy. Oh, yeah, you know what? I was commenting so much. Um, I was like, <laughs> stuck in. Are you ready to end the map? Sure. Unless you want to make it to round 40 first. You want to make it to round 40? Let's do it. Let's get to round 40. That's probably the highest we've ever gotten on, on, a, on a round. On a map. But, uh, well, that I've recorded anyway. Yeah, that you've recorded. I think. Um, Cause I know. Th I know the highest we've got on is round forty-one on Ascension. But that's on my Xbox. Oh damn! Was it really? That's that's so close to. Because uh, to the magic, I don't know if the, to the magic the viewers know. Yeah, I mean, a hundred's like the the goal that you're supposed to aim for, really, isn't it? But. Um, or one one five. I think it's more one one five yeah. people aim for. Now. I don't know. I think I think people I think people appreciate the. Um, the symmetry of a nice, oh, yeah. even 100, you know? Oh, very nearly went down. If I go down, I'll, I'm going to buy the thing. Considering you yeah, can well, I'll have to get you up first. I say, I'll try to use Blaze Phase, but it just didn't kill any of them. So don't use that. Yeah, good advice, don't use Blaze Phase. It's not a bad perk, it's just weak, it's just to, zombies are too powerful now. <coughs> what does this do? Mad Gaz Moonshine. Yeah, it's the one where if you, when you slide, you explode. Oh, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool actually. If you want Banana Colada, it's, uh, it's over there next to the M27 wall. I've got Banana Colada. Oh, thank you. It's good, isn't it? Um, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, decent. In fact, it gives you points too. Is um, pretty helpful. Yeah, that is pretty broken. Now it's time for me to go around and buy all the perks. Where was the box at last time? I'm going to see what other guns I can get. I might as well, I've got the points for it. Yeah, as long as you don't go under that threshold. No, I won't. Uh, oh, the Galil, that's tempting. I might leave it though, if I do have pack of punch guns on me, and they're pretty good as well. Although, it might. Nah. I've made a pact. Let's keep this. Pact for what? To keep my pack of punch. And tell, unless I get something. Like the Grim Reaper, I want to see what that pack of punch is into. Grim Reaper is what Barrett. exactly remind me? Um, you know, so it's it's a, it's the rocket launcher from Black Ops One. Um, it's in the campaign, and I think it's in multiplayer as well as a care package or something. Oh, okay. Or a kill streak, rather. Oh, no, 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 Storm Pierce. Storm Pierce R is not too bad, it just has very real ammo. I think you've got all the zombies. I can't, I ain't seen any. Our Moonstone is... I do have a lot, yeah. Our Moonstone is just destroying them all. It's still one-shotting them, I think. I'm gonna get, gonna get this uh, zombie shield. 
I like the uh, the look of having a full like row of perks. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice aesthetic. <laughs> Just all these zombies are falling over because of the banana colada. Oh, all the points. Oh, this is ridiculous. Got 100k points there. Yeah, no, that's ma that's largely from banana colada, to be honest. Even though I've not had the perk to um, so much. Yeah, it's such a good perk, though. I probably shouldn't stand in that, because uh, the effect ain't nice to look at. What? The effect ain't nice to look at? No, on the of the Ragnarok, if you're stood in there, it turns all purple and stuff, but... Oh, okay. Well, it turns all the screen purple. Did I pick him up? Oh, I did. Sometimes it's useful to kill the, or uh, well not kill, but rather ensnare your foes on the Widow's Web. Because if you're lucky, you can make your um, Widow's Wine Grenades back. <laughs> I lost 1500 from that. From what? Zombie cash. Also, the fire cell. Which I'm not gonna lie, I couldn't care less whether I had that or not. Oh, where was it? It was uh, that that one and that one, wasn't it? Cuda, I don't really want that. Uh, it's cap 40, I don't really want that either. I remember having the um, reflex sight on the stoner on Black Ops 1 multiplayer. It's so good. It weren't that good, mind you, but... Did any of you, did any of you guys ever use the ACOG scope on anything? Because I never really, I never really used it. I was more laser sight and everything. I don't know about you. The uh, well, ACOG site? Yeah, sorry, I paused the game for no reason. But yeah, the ACOG site. So, you know, the Black Ops 1 ACOG site, did you ever use that? No, not really. No, neither did I. I never really... I, I, can't, I got the gist of it, I just never saw the point of it. Like, not too much anyway. Especially on the Python. No, I was never really personally a fan. It's, it's like... Dual wield Py dual wield Python and ACOG scope Python was not a good was not a good combination. It's probably the worst thing you could ever do. Although with dual wield Pythons you can't it does come with a uh, is that the KS KS twenty three is um the What am I missing? Uh, I'm missing two perks. Have you got a double tap? I have double tap, yes. Um, Widow as well. Okay, I'll, I'll read them out. I'll read them out. Okay. Uh, I've got Jug, Cherries, double tap, yeah. uh, the, the Slowing Field one. Yeah. I've got uh, Speed Cola, Banana yeah. Colada, yeah. uh, Mad Gaz, Moonshine, yeah. Bandit Bandolier, yeah. Widow's Wine, Quick Revive, Deadshot, the Tortoise one. Yeah. Um, Winter's one. Yeah. Winter's Wall, uh, uh, Stamina Up. Blaze phase, the the time one that yeah, that um, makes things go quicker. The wolf one, um, blaze phase, mule kick, death wish. What am I missing? You've listed twenty one, though. Oh, stone cold stronghold. Oh, where is that? That's um, that, that's on that's on the bottom row in the yellow room. Is it on the left as you're going in? Oh, there you are. Is that the last one you're missing? Or? Uh, is it? 21 perks. 
Nice. We say that you got. We say that you got. Um, you got. You ain't got dying wish, have you? Or have you? I do have dying wish. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Oh, dude, this this Vihander. Um. Yeah. Does Vihander always have a good place, a special place in my heart? It's such a good gun. Oh, where is it from anyway? And it's an LMG as well, so... <laughs> is it from Origins? So Titus 6, what the hell was that? Uh, no, I don't know where this Vihand is from actually. It's not a World War 2 gun, is it? Um, the Titus is crap. Uh, I don't know what it is. Dude, I'm gonna pack a bunch of these five sevens. See how much uh, ammo I get for. Oh yes. I know I'm being a, I'm exploring a bit of the weapons now. I know. That's fine. Once you get to forty, and then we'll um, we'll end it. Oh, it's not that much actually. You get for it. It's a shame my wolves have the same name. Luna. Well, what did you want to name it? Oh no, not not that. It's just that um, you won't be able to distinguish. I don't know, your one seems to be red every time it summons, and my one's blue. Oh, maybe that's the differentiation then. It's kind of hard to tell in these coloured rooms. Yeah, true. Although, the more lunar wolves, the better, so... I don't see Very good problem. point. Oh, the, the Ultra and Violet is good, it's just not automatic. So, it you can kind of click your finger all the time, it's really annoying. What's this? I'm not trading it for the Olympia though. Yeah, the Ultra and Violet is not a good, is not good guns. Fuck it, I'll just make it go a bit faster. The Cap 40 seems to have better ammo capacity in this map though. MPL, which seems to have better ammo capacity in this map as well. Locus. <coughs> nah, I'm more on Locus. The MPL is, uh,. Still kills them, which is much better than its bla um, Black Ops um, version because the Black Ops version doesn't even kill them on round 38. Too much. What's that? The MPL. Or round, I don't know actually, because I was watching a stream and this dude was using the um, MPL as a wall bar. Yeah. Um, you know the door that goes between the. Um, left side of the starting room and the and the door to the part the, to double tap. You know that door. Is that in Kino? Yeah. Yeah, in Kino. Um, yeah. So you don't open that door. Um, you op um, to get to double tap. You got to open the the uh, the stage door that goes around to the the back way. Okay. And you just use the fire. You just use the um, fire trap. Um, oh, over and over. Yeah, you just use the fire trap to kill them, and that's how you get from wherever to round to whatever round you want to get on, really. Because there's a spot where you can stand, and the zombies won't actually kill you. Like, they can't hurt you at all. 
I don't know if they've patched it. What, a glitch it. or...? Yeah, I think it's a glitch, because you're not supposed to be stood there, but... Yeah, you can. I remember there was one for dogs. What a glitch. Yeah, do you remember that? You see, like, in the staircase in... Um, in the main room. On the, the stage. Don't think I remember that. Some of the OGs might remember what I'm on about. Yeah, um, I was gonna say I think that's an OG thing. So I don't, I don't remember that at all. Yeah, there's a there's there was a glitch where you could clip into the stairs. Right. And basically, oh, I'm gonna hit the box actually and, and uh, pack a punch weapon from it randomly. Um, yeah, you could kind of clip into the stairs and the dogs couldn't couldn't get you at all. Oh, what about the normal zombies? They could, yeah. But um, not the not the dogs. I might just pack a bunch of KSG and keep that. What about really... the um, the other the spot in Neckdown Totem? Oh, I think I do remember that. Oh, wasn't it? Um, you no, know, no, that is not the window trick. I'm thinking of five on that one, which OG, the OG f um, players of five will remember that one, but. Um, <clears throat> the one in that one tone. No, you had to sort of um, remind me a little bit. Uh, you, again, you sort of like wedge yourself in like one of the columns in the wall. You know, like oh, yeah. the the columns. Um, we kind of separated the rooms. Or oh, in in this dining room, there's a column, and basically you, you could stand there. Um, with a flamethrower, because obviously uh, flamethrower is infinite ammo, so therefore infinite damage. Yeah, oh yeah, you can, can't you? Yeah, so um, you could just use that and people would glitch that and get up around 100. What, World at War or Black Ops 1? World at War. I'd say, because World at War, you only had 24 zombies per round. After a certain yeah. after a time. It was, um, it's a bit antiquated, I must admit, but uh, it was... It was good for what it was. I mean, it was definitely like a, an exploration of what um, you know you could achieve uh, or like exploit out of the map, I suppose. Yeah, it's decent. Oh, Christ. Get out of my face. Dude, oh. this, K this pack a punch KSG is one shotting them to the head. Is it? Oh, and to the body as well. KSG, what's that? The uh, shotgun? It's a, yeah, it's a slug gun. Very nice. From Black Ops to multiplayer and Origins. Um, was this... Was the Scar H ever in any of the Black Ops? Yeah, it's in Black Ops 2 multiplayer and Origins. It was in Origins, was it? Oh, yeah. okay. In uh, but Black Ops 2? Yes. Because the pack a punched version of it is called the Agathan Reaper. But obviously, there wouldn't be any point in calling it the Agathan anything unless it was in a Black Ops game. It's in Black Ops 2, but um, yeah. That's about all I know. So I know. Um, I know the pack punch name for the KSG is the Miss Maker, but don't forget this is a modded map, so it might not actually be what it's called. No, I know, but um, I just feel like that's very on theme for like a like a storyline map. If you get what I mean? Yes, I do. I I feel like you don't need a name like the Agath and whatever, or you know the. Um, Oh, like the, the Shadow Man or whatever, you know, you, you name it something like that. If if it were, you know, part Any, of anything part of the story. The game, yeah. Yeah. Because usually with guns, you know, they just kind of give them a cool name, or, or like they'll um, like with the RPD, I think they uh, like it basically just expanded the abbreviation. Um, I can't remember what the RPD RPD. Oh, oh RPD, right, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, I, I can't, I still can't remember, because the RPD was in all of the Black Ops 2 maps, except for Origins, I think. It, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll give you another example. It would be like naming a gun like the like the Resonator 115, for example. That is in a a main zombies game, like or it's, it's in a main zombies map. Or multiple, multiple, but you know it's it's part of the actual s story around it. Whereas this isn't. Yeah. You know, so uh, that that's all I can think. That's the only reason I can come to that sort of conclusion. Did you want to buy the ending? Yes. I'm doing that now. 312 zombies left. Jesus. Up into the good old days when um, he was just 24. Oh, you know what's good as well? My dying wish is activated as well, so I'm so glad. Did it just activate? Oh my god. Yeah. Congratulations. You have escaped. You survived 40 rounds. Yeah. We did well. This is a good map. What a map creator. I'll say, this are. is a really good map. I mean, I know I keep all these maps be just because, but... I actually do have I, I actually do genuinely like this maps like this map sorry <clears throat> Alright Ben Yeah so this concludes part two in um if I'm honest. I mean um I I will be honest with you guys, we almost kind of screwed up earlier because we I think we both went down and we lost all our perks. But yeah, um a couple times. Yeah, but, but but we we managed to re regain our progress and stuff. But other than that, uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Um, if you guys want to try this map out, obviously I I post all the links in the description anyway. But I do recommend trying this map out as well. But we have to find yeah, I definitely recommend this map. <clears throat> we we'll have to find more maps now because I think this is like we ain't got any more, have we? We're running low. We are running low. We so if anyone can recommend one. We are always running low though. Um, we'll, we'll have to just find like a good few maps, like quite a, a lot of maps and just download them. <coughs> yeah. Um, so because then that way we can just keep, we can just do like breeze through all these maps and stuff. Well, I don't know about breeze, but um, yeah, we would eventually do Thanatos because we keep talking about it. So we will eventually do it. One day. And hopefully soon we'll do uh, Borderlands as well. Borderlands 3. When that... <laughs> yeah, in the, the years it'll take to um, install that. I mean, crikey. 70, yeah. Almost 73 gigabytes the, the game is. So if any of you guys are wanting that game... I mean, don't get me wrong. The Borderlands games are good. I've, I, like the, I like the first one. I absolutely love the second one. Um, the the third one, I I have I have a very good expectations for it. Um, what's that? Expectations. I I have very good expectations for it. Good. Um. But yeah. Um. But I I, w I will say the game will take a while because it is a very big game. <coughs> Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe out there.